In the last lecture, I have installed Contact Form 7 and Yoast SEO plugins. I will activate those plugins and show you how to work with those. Different plugins offer different functionality, and the way to use them are also different. It takes some time and practice to get into the plugin ecosystem. Once you become proficient in using plugins, you can use WordPress to its full potential. Let's start with the Yoast SEO plugin. We will see what options this SEO plugin offers. Click on the Activate link. A plugin activated message will appear at the top. Once a plugin is activated on your site, it may add menus in different places. For example, you see a Y symbol on the top admin bar. Some plugins add menus in the left navigation bar. That menu can be under settings or tools or sometimes a separate menu like the SEO here. Some plugins add a settings link to the plugin lists. Once activated you can see a deactivate link. You can deactivate a plugin if you do not wish to use that plugin anymore using this deactivate link. I will go to settings of Yoast SEO and they have a dashboard of their own. Here we can see problems, notifications, and upgrade to premium messages. On the top, it is asking for first-time SEO configuration. This SEO needs a configuration to start with, and you can do with the configuration wizard. Yoast SEO plugin basically helps your site to perform better in search engines. It suggests you what guideline to follow for search engines. So it need to know details of your site, and this configuration is all about that. In environment step, it asks if the site is published or under construction. In the next step, it asks for what type of site it is. I will select blog. Then it asks if it is for organization or personal. I will fast forward next configurations, but you get the idea how a plugin setup configuration can be. When I have completed all the steps, it says SEO settings configured. In the features tab, it offers some settings with an on-off button. For example, if we do not wish the menu on the top admin bar for this plugin, we can turn off here and save changes. With the settings saved, the admin bar icon is gone. There are many more configurations of this plugin to help your site to perform better in search engines. In the Add New Post or Page screen, this plugin also adds a setting to guide you what is missing. If you browse through different options you will get the idea what actions you need to take. This SEO plugin also added its own settings icon at the top. So you see how a plugin enhances your site's functionality in different places. Let's activate the Contact Form 7 plugin to see briefly another plugin feature. Contact Form 7 lets you add forms to your page or post. It has added its own menu, Contact, and it is given an example form to start with. This form has name, email, subject, and message input field. In the mail settings, it has the configuration option on how to send the mail with what content. When you have configured the form, you have to take the shortcode at the top and use it in a page or post. Shortcode is a special type of content which is enclosed in third brackets. You can add shortcodes to a page content or post content. Through shortcode, plugins can show its content in a special format. For contact form 7, this shortcode will add a form in the front site. I copy this shortcode and add a new page. Let's give the title, Contact Form. I just paste the shortcode here, and it gives a form choosing option. The settings are standard block settings. I can choose shortcode from here to see what shortcode is coming here. This is the shortcode, and we can publish the page now to see how it looks. Let's visit the page. This is the form from Contact Form 7 plugin. 
so you get the idea how a short code can show some content in the front site. With different plugins, you may get different short code. Also what kind of content will be shown depends on how the plugin manages that. If I deactivate the plugin, this form functionality will be gone. In the page edit screen, the short code is still there, but if we visit the front page, the form is gone. Because the form was rendered using Contact Form 7 plugin. As I have deactivated the plugin, WordPress is only showing the texts of the short code. So now you see how these two plugins added different functionality to the site. Go ahead and install some plugin and play with it. Becoming comfortable with plugins is a key to add different and complex functionality to your site. Let's move to our next lecture.